All right. So in example seven, we're given the three, four, five triangle, one of the Pythagorean triples, three, four, five. Beautiful triangle, right? <laughs> it's special because the sides are whole numbers. And we want to find the angles. This, we're, give, we're, we want to find this angle theta down here. And this is another Greek letter phi that we want to find. So usually a lot of times angles are given Greek letter names, um, you know, as a, a nod to the Greeks who did a lot of um, work with geometry. So, um, okay, so let's, let's try to find these angles. There's a number of different ways that we could approach this problem. Now, one way is that it could see, well, I know that the sine, so I could say that the sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, right? So three over five. And then I'll just solve for theta by taking the inverse side, uh, in, inverse sine of three over five. So theta is equal to the inverse sine of 3 over 5. And that's something I can put in my calculator. And I'll get 36.87 degrees, approximately, right? It's not exact. But there's a number of different ways I can approach this. I could say that the cosine of theta is equal to um, adjacent over hypotenuse of 4 over 5. And I can do the inverse cosine. Or I could say the tangent of theta is equal to 3 over 4. And I could do the inverse tangent. So there's a number of different ways I could figure out what theta is. But all, any, any method that you choose will give you the same angle. All right, so let's try to find the angle phi. Now, probably the easiest thing to do is just to recognize that the angles of a right triangle are all, or the angles of the triangle, any triangle, have to add to 180 degrees. One of these sides we know is 90 degrees. So the remaining two have to add up to 90 degrees. So the easiest thing to do would just be to say that phi is equal to 90 degrees minus the angle we just found, which is 36.87 degrees, okay? So then that gives us what? 53, 53.13 degrees, all right? Now I could do that and I could figure that out in other ways too. I, I know if I, um, that the sine of phi would be 4 over 5. I know that the cosine of phi would be 3 over 5. Okay, so um, the tangent of phi would be 4 over 3. So I could use any of those and just to take the inverse sine or the inverse cosine or the inverse tangent and find that same angle. But any way you do it, it'll come up the same. So I'll put approximately equal to. All right, well, I'll meet you in the next video.